Welcome to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show, a real estate investment program. Listen and learn how to use real estate to build wealth and passive income streams for you and your family. We bring you experts every day to discuss and answer your questions on everything from single family homes all the way up to 600 plus unit apartment complexes. And now, the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Today, working on your financial freedom, we are talking today about a 9,000 mile journey from India to India to America and a bigger journey from a mindset of a corporate America engineer to a real estate entrepreneur and retiring from that corporate America job in just five years. I want to repeat that, retiring from that corporate America in just five years. I'm your host, David Rizika. You're listening to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate uh, Investor Radio Show, and I'm with Gaurav Goyal today, and we're going to hear his story, and you're going to be inspired and excited about real estate. And uh, Gaurav, so glad to be with you today, and I want to just kind of kick it off with a question to give let people get to know you a little bit. What is the trigger that caused you, you're 43 now, you were, this is 20 years ago, that caused you to change countries and change continents? Because that's a huge step. Thanks, David. Uh, uh, glad to be here. Uh, yeah, as you know, when I uh, went through my undergrad in engineering back in India, uh, you know, we always knew that, you know, U.S. is sort of the place where this land of better opportunities and, you know, just from education perspective. So that's one of the things that I aspire to be is, you know, you know, hey, I, you know, I, I, I do want to get a better world view of education. I better want to have a more um, opportunity, uh, opportunity to learn more. So that brought me to the U.S. And then soon after I came here, it, it basically became it became my realization that this is my new home and that made me stay here. And that's where I've been for the last 20 years. That's great. That's great. So give us a little bit of your background. You graduated uh, with your degree uh, out of UT Austin. And where did you go? Just to give us a little bit of a feel for who you are outside of that. I mean, I know you're married and you've got kids and, and you're an engineer and give us a little bit of your background there. Sure, absolutely. So I had an undergrad in engineering. I got a bachelor's in business administration, MBA at UT Austin. Um, and then I got into consulting. And this is what I've been doing until um, until now. Um, and uh, now I'm married. I, I met my wife here in Dallas. We got married in Dallas. Um, and now we have two beautiful 11-year-old twins, boy and girl, that we dote over. Uh, so that's uh, Dallas is now our home, um, away from home. That's great. That is great. And what were you doing for retirement prior to joining Lifestyles Unlimited? What was your what, what was your retirement plan? When did you see yourself retiring? And what was what were you investing in? So my plan was to work really really hard, being a consultant, be on the road, and try to you know go up the ladder, corporate ladder. Uh, that was really my plan. And uh, what I found is it wasn't working um, as planned. One is it required uh, a lot of sacrifice from being away from home, especially when I married my wife, a beautiful wife, and then I had my, ki- my kids. Um, and uh, just the usual office politics and, uh, you know, having to do things that I'm not very interested in doing and and then uh, it just became uh, harder and harder for me to realize that uh, goal that I wanted to have is to reach the next stage in my career. Uh, mm-hmm. And in the meantime, whatever savings we had, um, and we are very conservative savers, so we were saving a bunch of our salary in stock. And that wasn't going much better either. So it came to a point where I'm worried about being, uh, uh, you know, either stagnating or you know, not not being needed in, in consulting and then not having enough of financial wealth to back on if I uh, if I get laid off or if I get redundant or something like that happens. Yeah, and, and I, I remember you talked about uh, the fear of becoming obsolete. You always have to be growing and changing and um, talk about that a little bit. 
Yeah, you know, my wife and I both are in IT careers, uh, and one of the things that we found is in IT, in technology, in engineering, also, it's basically it. Um, and if you're an engineer or if you are in, if it, if you don't go into the executive ranks, it really becomes who can work the hardest, and uh, you know, the focus is to get the younger, hungrier people in, and and the people who want to have a little bit more work-life balance, they tend to have resistance when they start to um, compete with people who who are uh, younger than them or, or maybe have more more recent knowledge so there's a constant pressure to keep abreast of everything and work harder than everybody else in order to keep where you are or go to the next level and that gets tiring yeah. after a while especially if it's not that exciting yeah, 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 I'm sure. And in corporate America, there is always somebody that is willing to throw everything else in their life out the door just to work harder and get that next level. And unless you're a little bit insane, you're going to have a hard time keeping up with that. If you want to have a sane, like you said, work-life balance, you actually want to have a wife that you see, that you know, that you recognize when you see her at home. Uh, there's going to be a guy out there that's maybe 25 years old, 26 years old. He, he has no life. He lives in his parents' basement, and he's just happy to be programming all day long and all night long, 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week. And so that does make it tough. So you had this fear about that, and you're investing in the stock market. But just curious, did you have a number in mind as ter- in terms of the age that you uh, might retire? My opinion projection was 55 to 60. I did want to retire before Social Security kicked in. I did want to have a little bit of life, but my goal was 55 to 60. And I, and I still did not see the path to that where, with yeah. where I was at that time. Okay. So, so why did you think about real estate? Um. So that was the conflict, internal conflict I was in, and a buddy of mine, a colleague of mine, um, who was a Lifestyles member, introduced me to Lifestyles. So I came uh, for the case study. I came twice for the, uh, what I think we can talk a little bit more about, two-day program, which is really the educational program that teaches a lot about how we can make money in real estate. Which yeah, pause open my eyes. Pause right there. We are talking with Gaurav. He is retiring on the 20th of October after five years as a member of Lifestyles Unlimited. You want to hear the rest of the story. Stay with us. Look at the effects of what happened in 2008 and you compare it to what we are hopefully coming out of right now. Real estate has definitely shown its resiliency. It has provided for people not only a place to live, but a place to work, a place to raise their children, a place to teach their children, a place to prepare all of their meals. And that's really where the rubber meets the road is that there are are two things that people have to have and they strive very hard to have them. And that's a roof over their head and food on the table. And if you are investing in something related to either of those two things, you are going to have a winning strategy. And in addition to that, you're providing something of value to the people around you. And creating a win-win situation while creating wealth and passive income for yourself is the best life you can get. Real estate is resilient. You should have real estate in your portfolio. Join us for the next live online free workshop. Register at lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. Back with the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. We're here to answer your questions and help you become financially free. Rizika, and you're listening to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. I'm with Gaurav uh, Goyal, who traveled 9,000 miles 20 years ago from India to America to be an engineer in corporate America and an IT person. And uh, in IT, you think about how much technology changes in a 20-year period. I mean, just 20 years ago, I don't think I had a cell phone. I can't remember, but uh, that far back. But and now everybody has, you know, the same thing as a computer on their in in their pocket or on their wrist. And Gorov in seeking to 
escape from that corporate lifestyle is going to be retiring on the 20th of this October after five years as a member of Lifestyles Unlimited invested in thousands of uh, apartment commun- uh, apartments. And uh, Gaurav, so right before we went to the break, you talked about attending case study. For folks who don't know what that is, every single month we have case study where regular members, people like you and me, share about an investment that they made either in a single family property or a multifamily property. And uh, tell me, when you went to case study, you heard about lifestyles from a friend, you're looking for a way out, a way to, to, to achieve financial freedom. You go to the case study. Were you a skeptic or were you a true believer? You know, whatever they sell me, I'm going to buy. No, I'm, I am I was a skeptic. Real estate was furthest away from anything I had done. I just owned my own home and that's about it. So I didn't know a lot about it. Um, you hear news about people promising a lot and you tend to uh, see them with skepticism. Sounds unbelievable. Sounds hard to believe. Uh, so I went in as a skeptic, and it took me a while to really get convinced. And what changed the wind for me was I met people like me uh, who are in similar situations. Either they were in professional jobs or engineers, and I could they could help me relate to sort of why they joined and what convinced them and what has their story been if they have joined before me and their uh, experience investing in real estate. Wow, that's good. And that, that is so true, folks. If you're listening and you're thinking, uh, you know, my situation is different. Nobody's like me. Actually, what you find with Lifestyles Unlimited, with 50,000 members, you will find people like you who have become successful real estate investors. And that was, that's what makes the big difference. So you actually joined Lifestyles Unlimited, uh, Gaurav, and you went to the Financial Freedom Seminar, that, that kind of initial seminar. It's 16 hours how to locate, negotiate, finance, rehab, lease, and manage single-family and multifamily properties. You you walk into that, uh, and like I said, 16 hours, two days. What were the big aha moments out of that experience for you? And I know you said you went twice, actually, which is a lot of people do because it's a lot of information. Yeah, and, you know, the first time there's a lot of information, you're absorbing it. The one thing that I really liked is, being an engineer, the math side of things made sense to me. I put things in math and which which it was clear to me that, you know, if the returns are what they are, then the results would be what is being promised. Um, and then I met people like me who, uh, who were either uh, guest speakers or just they were also in my shoes looking to learn more to make the decision. So that mm-hmm. was also really good for me to understand. And and in the seminar, it's a 16-hour seminar, two days, and what we really, what I really got is I really felt that it educated me to really understand how real estate works. I mean, not, it, doesn't, it didn't teach me everything, but it taught me a lot about, you know, how do you make money in single family? How do you make money in multifamily? Different ways you make money. And that was really eye-opening for me. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you get this, there's this black box that real estate's inside of that the average person never understands and never discovers. And in that two day seminar, you really do get that. I remember sitting there thinking the same thing as they were talking about hard money loans. I'm like, what the heck is a hard money loan? I have no idea. And that was the thing that just really kind of opened up the box for me. Even on my, my very first deal, I captured a lot of equity and was something I never would have known to do otherwise. So you you did that and you decided. You wanted to be a passive investor, which means for folks listening, we have folks who are members of Lifestyles. They're not employees of Lifestyles. They're members of Lifestyles. They decide they would like to be a lead investor, which means they're going to go find a big property and they're going to uh, invite other Lifestyles members to join in as passive investors. They will run the deal. They get an override for doing that. And our passive investors don't do anything. (laughs) All you have to do is wait by the mailbox. So tell us about your experience in, in becoming a passive investor why you chose that that path initially and then what was your experience so the great thing about lifestyle the two-day seminar was it taught us many ways to make money you could go to single family you could be passive you could be lead i was at a point where both my wife and i were working and our kids much but much younger and i did not want to invest the time at that point of my life to figure out how to do things on my own so like you explained 
becoming a passive is the easiest way you dip your toe in the water and you don't have to spend a lot of time but you do get a lot of exposure to how the whole process works so that's how i started my journey back in november 2016 And people ask me all the time, they, 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 I'm thinking about joining Lifestyles. I'm concerned about being a passive investor. We have about, do you have enough leads? I mean, we have hundreds of lead investors. We have deals closing all the time. So there are plenty of deals. But how long, this is the big question, the huge question that people ask, how long did it take you to get into a passive deal once you made the decision that's what you were going to do? Uh, this, so even though I'm an engineer and, engineers do try to analyze everything before you make a decision i decided that if i'm going to do this i'm going to start quickly and i made my first investment within 2 weeks of joining oh my goodness i mean that is, that's like you're you're like the road runner i mean that is super fast how did you find this passive this the lead investor how did that come about so my colleague who had introduced me to lifestyles unlimited he was a, uh, you know when i joined lifestyles i said who do you recommend and he recommended this person whose deal was just coming available to the passive so i jumped upon that i i i had a decent amount of knowledge before but a lot of it was learning on the fly and uh going by reputation right so yeah. you know it 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 may not be the best pass for everybody but for me i knew that if i waited too long then i would just be stuck analyzing everything and not moving forward so i had to push myself to take that first step and get that first deal as a passive that's so good that you did that i mean that is that, that's a powerful lesson because that's the truth i mean and and, and del wamsley actually set up our lead and passive investor program years ago to protect the passive investor because you can go out and invest in apartment deals anywhere there'll be there are guys who will syndicate deals you have no idea whether they're running things well or poorly or whether they have good ethics or bad ethics we have he set it up because we believe in ethics and we believe in people uh, having a safe program for people to invest in so we have rules actually lead investors have to follow if they want to be a member of lifestyles and be a lead investor with lifestyles and so they really you you picked a safe environment to do that with i, I would say and um so glad you did that it's a great example so people that you are you're listening right now i want to encourage you to go ahead and go to the website sign up for the free workshop go ahead and get started it's free it doesn't cost you anything I'll we'll talk a little bit more after the break. We're talking to Gurov who owns and is invested in thousands of units. He says it feels like a warm blanket. That's the kind of feeling I want to have. Stay with us through the break. You can't be financially free if you're psychologically imprisoned by disabling belief systems. Are you ready to break free from your disabling belief systems about money, real estate, retirement, and financial freedom? Then join us for Lifestyles Unlimited's live online free workshop. Learn the belief system that thousands of people like you have used to break free from corporate America and create the lives they have always wanted. Register at lifestylesunlimitedfreeworkshop.com. Welcome back to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Now, let's get back to your map to financial freedom. Hey, I'm your host David Rizika. You're listening to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. I'm with Gaurav Goyal, who is retiring on the 20th, October 20th, after 5 years as a Lifestyles Unlimited member. And um right before we get to that, I do want to remind you. So, you can go to lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. You can sign up for the free workshop you can get the start that Gorov got that allowed him to get to the point where he's going to retire from corporate America a- after just 5 years and has a secure safe future that he says feels like a warm blanket rather than something to be fearful about uh I'm actually doing the workshop on the 21st, which is this coming Thursday. That's 8:30 Central Time. I've got teammates that do great job. If that day doesn't work for you, it's okay. My feelings won't be hurt. Uh but you will get to see me in person if you do that. You can watch in your pajamas because it's online, but it is live. So, I want you to go ahead that and and do that lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. Uh before we get back into it, uh Gorv, I want to ask you about that phrase. You said so you're invested in thousands of units either you you own four apartment communities and um 
you uh, you did say you said it felt like a warm blanket. Tell me what that means. I mean, I know what a warm blanket well, feels like. Please don't, don't please don't expl- explain the mechanics of a warm blanket. What I mean is that <laughs> that feeling that you have. <laughs> yes. No, I'm I'm there with you. I think you know it's when you know investing in the stock market. You are. Uh, you know, I have an MBA. I went to finance class. I thought I knew how to invest. I did terrible in the stock market. I was a terrible stock picker. I bought uh, high, sold low. So <laughs> I am terrible at it, and it just always worried me about the choices I made. So to me, I was never com- un- never comfortable. And when with real estate, you know, there'll be some months or years where stock market beats real estate. But I know that real estate uh, as um, as an investment will continue to do better and better every year. And I will never lose money. And as long as I make good choices, um, it, it's never really going to be something I have to worry about losing money. So for me that uncomfortable feeling that I had investing in the stock market. But once I started investing in real estate, it became a lot more comfortable. So for me, it was getting a warm blanket of making myself, you know, feeling a lot more comfortable making my investment choices and not worrying about, is it going to drop next week or next year? Or is it going to stay up? That's what I really meant by the warm blanket. Yeah, that is so powerful. And I got to agree with you on that. And I would say the stock market, well, I guess there are years where it will be up. But the thing with stock market, you make money if it goes up. That's it. End of the game. If it goes down, you lose money. With the with real estate, you make money in five different ways. You make it through the cash flow, through the equity capture, through the appreciation, through the principal pay down, and through the depreciation. Your stocks never give you any tax benefit, and yet we get huge tax benefits with real estate. And as a passive investor, you're in the lowest for profit group in the United States. So, got to agree with you on all that. Just just powerful, powerful. And, and I, I love, I'm gonna I'm gonna use I'm gonna make that my new saying. Feels like a warm blanket. These enchiladas, they feel like a warm blanket. Whatever the case is, I'm gonna use it all over the place. So very good. Thank you for sharing that. That is that is powerful as folks are listening and they're thinking about the stock market right now. So when you invested in your passive deals, let me ask you this. Was it the deal or the lead investor? How did you choose? So for me, it was both. So I do want to see a lead. Um, you know, uh, Initially, I always went for a little bit more experienced lead. Now that I'm a little bit more experienced, I look for even if it's a first-time lead, does he, does he or she have the right background, experience, commitment to what they need to do? And the second was the type of deal, depending on my personal situation. So I was looking for high value ads because I did not need cash flow as I, my wife and I were both working full-time at that point. Let me let me explain that. You're trying to increase your net worth. So you want what we call a, a value add, which means they're going to buy the property, add value to it, and then either pull the money out through a refi or sell the property for a profit. Yeah. So go ahead. Yeah. And we, you know, being two W-2 jobs, we were in the high tax bracket. So we definitely did not want more income immediately. We wanted to delay income and maybe when the property sold, have that income. And in the meantime, like you said, one of the five ways we make money is get the tax benefit every year. So that was sort of my goal at that time is find a good lead, find a property that doesn't need to cash flow, but has a big uh, potential for high uh, equity capture at the uh, uh, at the sale. That's great. And that's the beauty of having a bunch of leads because we have a bunch of different deals out there for folks that are more, they need the yield, they need that income or people that are, like you said, just trying to build net worth and get to that point. So you decided at some point, Being a passive investor, getting your money, you don't even have to go to the mailbox anymore. It just comes to your account. You decided you wanted to actually do some work. You wanted to be a lead investor. Why did you want to be a lead? So, um, you know, Lifestyle doesn't ask passives to go attend their meetings, but it does give a lot of opportunities to actually see properties of other leads, to hear stories of other people and look at the results they've found a lot of different training opportunities. So Lifestyle came up with a certification program for LEED back in 2017, a formal certification. Mm -hmm. And we just wanted to do the certification for the knowledge. 
And as we got into the certification program, I started to learn. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's several hours long. Really, in, it really uh, exo- you know, extensive, ex- you know, exhaustive program. We both loved it. He said, "Hey, this looks like something we can actually do. We like it. Should we go for it?" And that's what was impetus for us to say, "I think we should buy a property. I think it's fun and it's interesting, and it looks like something we can do." Huge. That's great. That is great. And so, and and again, that lead certification program. That's what was set up by Dell to protect the passive investors, to make sure we have uh, ethical leads that know what they're doing. So tell us about your first deal. You got a lot on the line. People are giving you their money. It's not, uh, I mean, it's not you, it's an LLC, but they're trusting you to take their money and not lose money. And you have to do a lot of stuff to buy this thing. It's a 58 unit, right? 58? Yeah, first one? it's a 58 yeah. unit in yeah. um, uh, Dallas Fort Worth, yeah. Yeah, so I mean that sounds small if you're talking about potato chips, but it's actually 58 homes where people live, where people will leave you if you do a bad job running it, and then you're out of luck. There are also all kinds of legal legal complications. As you went into that, were you nervous? Were you fearful? I mean, I was very nervous, um, and but but the great thing about it is, you know, when you start something new, you're always nervous, and um, you start something new without any support, then you don't know what you're doing wrong. The good thing about Lifestyle was the network that we built over the uh, first two years where we were passive. That really helped. The mortgage broker, the Lifestyle broker, the um, the mentors, the operation consultant, other Lifestyle members. That is amazing and uh, support structure. So when you're anxious, you do have someone you can reach out to and ask questions and get their advice. That's that's so powerful. Dell Wamsley always he says two things. He says, "Don't mom and pop your your investments," which that's a lot of the property. A lot of the properties that we buy, it's just a mom and pop will run it on their own. They had nobody to talk to, and they run it into the ground. And so we step in and buy the property. He also says, uh, "Real estate is a team sport. You got to have a team around you, and we we provide that. Uh, so when people go into these things, they have all those people to talk to, all those people to back them up. So you're never going it alone. We even have a uh, lead investor groups, what Alex Clark, one of our mentors out of Dallas calls a mastermind group. So during COVID and things like that, you got a group of people who are all doing the same thing you're doing. You can share problems, you can share knowledge and share how you're moving forward. When we come back to the other side of the break, we're going to continue speaking with Gorov Goyle, who is is again retiring on October 20th of this month from corporate America and did that with Lifestyles Unlimited. Stay with us through the break. Dell Wamsley's real estate investing worst case scenario. Let's say the Democrats took away all tax deductions away from real estate like Ronald Reagan did in 1986. In 1986, we had stock market crash, a real estate value crash. The world came to an end for three months. Why? Because he took the value away from owning real estate for people who used it as a tax break. People like myself who got started at 87 go, you know, you can really buy this stuff cheap right now. In fact, I can buy it so cheap, I can rent it and make a 20% return. Cap rates were 20%. I buy a building and I made 20% of my money without leverage. If I put leverage on it, I made 30 or 40% return. Ungodly returns. Right now, you can earn less than 1% of a savings account. So do you think I hope that happens again? Yes, I do. In 2008, when the world crashed and cratered, I bought real estate 50 cents on the dollar. I said, well, what happened to the stuff you already owned? I kept it. It stayed full. We rented it. We made money. Don't let the fear of losing money hold you back from making money. Join us for the next live online free workshop. Register at lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. Warning, listening to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show will change your life. We will teach you how to create wealth and passive income so you can be financially free. And now, back to your host. As we go into this last uh, section, uh, we are talking to Gaurav Goyal, who is looking forward to going on his fourth vacation this year so far, and is and, and bought a property at the beginning of COVID, and will return is esp- estimating he will return 127 percent in appreciation in three years to his investors. 
I am your host, David Rizika. You're listening to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Glad you are with us right now. Gaurav, right before the break, uh, we, we begin getting in your deal. Take about a minute or so and tell us how... So, so you identified this 58 unit. You've got investors, which is very easy to do with Lifestyles Unlimited. Tell us about the process of buying this property. Like I said before, 58 units sounds small if you're talking about potato chips, but you're actually talking about homes that people live in and that w- that homes that they will leave if you do a bad job running it. And so it's got to be a little, there's a little bit of pressure there. You got people that are counting on you to give them a good return. Walk us through that step as you, the step-by-step step as you went into that deal. Sure. Uh, so I um, had been talking to a lifestyle broker about my what, what I needed for my first deal. And I came to know about this deal, which was in part of the town, actually, where I used to live many years ago and was being sold by a lifestyles member. Um, so that made the, uh, you know, that made it easier for me to make the decision to move forward because I knew lifestyles members took care of their properties. Um, I knew that um, as a first time lead, it will make my uh, acquisition a little bit more smoother knowing that I had a lifestyle broker and a lifestyle member on uh, as the seller. Right. Um, you go into a process, you you make an offer, which is called a letter of intent, um, and, uh, uh, and then you basically get that accepted. You negotiate a contract where basically you talk about the terms that you have to purchase the price and other uh, items. And then you go into... Uh, what we call the due diligence phase and the the 60-day period, typically 60-day period where the lender is doing their due diligence to fund, to give you the loan and you're doing your due diligence to make sure the property is in a shape that you would be comfortable taking over and identifying anything what that needs to be taken care of when you take over and uh, pricing those things out. So basically, you are fine tuning your budget, your plan, and mm-hmm. you're also making sure this is the right property for you as part of that duty. And during this entire time, you're talking to a mentor about all those steps, right? Absolutely. Mentor and an operational consultant from Lifestyles, they are an absolute part of your team that guide you, that tell you, that answer questions, and uh, eventually they actually participate during your due diligence as well. So they are an extremely helpful team that makes sure that they give you their experience to you and notes so that you can actually then, um, you know, do a better job of planning of the table. Yeah, so you're not having to try to figure out how to do this on your own. I'm amazed. There are people that actually do real estate that do it on their own and are successful. Actually, they buy their first apartment complex with no help at all. And yet, in this case, you've got all that help, which really, you're basically learning from success because you're talking to successful people all the time about how to do what it is you're doing. So you did that, and um, how did that deal come out for you? It's it's done really well. Uh, We bought it... uh about in 2018, so about a little bit more than three years ago, summer of 2018, mm-hmm. and that property has done extremely well. Uh, we've already increased the value of our investment. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's threefold investment. Uh, we are actually looking forward to uh, doing a refi next year, or refinance next year, cash out refinance. Mm-hmm. Um, to uh, get uh, with a target to get our invested, our principal that was invested in the property back to our investors. Wow. And and tell me that again. You said threefold was what? Yeah. So basically, if we were to sell the property today, it, our investors would, you know, almost triple their money. Uh, you know, they would, they would get three times the money they invested if we were to sell it. And we're refining it. They will definitely get their money back. Yeah, and it'll keep cash flow into them. I just wanted people to hear that again. That's amazing. That's incredible. You're not doing that in the stock market anytime quickly. So good job on that. Now, how long after you bought that property before you went from, from your first deal to your second deal? And I want to remind people, this is not your background. This is not something you've been training all your life to do. This is brand new to you. So how long from the first deal to the second deal? It was about a year. Uh, we bought a second property in the summer of 2019. And that property, remind me, how many uh, how many units was that? 
64 units. And that's the one you're about to sell? Yes, we are in contract to sell and expected to close in uh, right before Thanksgiving. Right before Thanksgiving. Great, great job. So you did that, and then you did something that is just crazy because COVID was coming, and so you decided to go buy a property at the beginning of COVID. I'm, I'm being facetious when I say crazy, because I'm, I'm going to say congratulations on that, because so many people have been sitting on the sidelines saying, oh, maybe someday in the future when everything is perfect and all the stars are aligned and I feel like the moon is in the... I don't know, all that stuff. And um, But you actually went out and found, found a deal, and give us a brief synopsis of that, from finding it to actually closing on the deal. So we knew this property well because it is across the street from our first property and owned by the same sellers that sold us our first property. So we knew this property really well. We knew that when it came to market, that would be a great property for us to get economies of scale when it comes to expenses, when it comes to managing, and it also you can sell it as a package. So when this came on the market, it came right before covid uh, became, you know, right in the first quarter of 2020. And, uh, but we knew this property well enough to think that we're not going to lose money on this property. It may be a few tough months during the height of COVID, but we will not lose money. So we basically went for it and we closed on the property in, uh, again, summer of 2020, about a year after our second. That's great. That is great. And one thing I want to, a point I want to make is we are not slumlords and because landlords have a bad, <laughs> have oftentimes a bad name in, uh, in American society. We're not slumlords. We actually take care of our people. We make properties better. We make them nicer. We make communities better. Tell us about the things that you did during COVID to help out uh, the folks that were living in your properties. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, uh, you know, we, we, we spent about half a million dollars on the uh, improvements on the property. Our, you know, the playground got us big uh, improvement with brand new edging and mulch and, all, and paint and equipment. And we replaced the patios. We did a lot of interior upgrades, um, exterior improvements. So we spent a lot of money on the exteriors. And then we also had installed community Wi-Fi initially as a way to, you know, make more money, you know, sell it to the residents. But ended right. up, because all the kids were at home, we ended up just giving it away for free. And there's a couple of other things we did. Uh, when the supplies of uh, some essentials were low, we actually talked to a motel provider who mm-hmm. was having difficulty selling to motels because nobody was staying in the motel. So we got things like toilet rolls and gloves and hand sanitizer and cleaning supplies when it was not available in regular stores. And we gave it away to our residents for free. And then we also worked with a nonprofit to have free meals delivered to the kids. So we we tried to do what we could with the resources we could find to help the residents who were also suffering with all the shutdowns and, and all the sickness that was around. You know, we absolutely invested in the property and did what we did for our residents. Yeah, and folks, I've seen this property. It is a beautiful property. I mean, the before and after is amazing. When he says the playground, the playground before didn't really look like a safe place to play. It is beautiful now. The interiors, kind of dated and beautiful interiors now. And did all that while taking care of, as he said, taking care of his uh, of his residents with free community Wi-Fi and all those other things provided. I remember standing in those lines for, <laughs> that was the stupidest thing I've ever experienced in my life. I'm standing in line for paper towels because COVID's going to make you need more paper towels. I don't know what that's about. But great, great job on that. And so this property that you bought in COVID, what are you looking at in the future in terms of your return on that? So we are, uh, based on, um, you know, the appreciation of the market, the rents that we've been able to increase, the high occupancy, we think based on that, in three years, we would be able to return our investor 127% in total. That is so powerful. Guys, you've heard a great story why you need to get started now from Gaurav in, the, in four deals, thousands of units that he has invested in. And Gaurav, just take the last about 20 seconds here and tell us, uh, what would you say? People are in the rat race. Tell me what you would tell people who are listening right now. Take 20 seconds to do that. Yes. And, you know, that's one of the things that I always want to say is I do want people to have the same experience as I have as an option. You know, when people even love their jobs, definitely they need to look at real estate as an investment opportunity because it has completely changed our lives. And you can be a passive, you can be a lead, 
It's our choice. Want to continue the conversation? Follow Lifestyles Unlimited on Facebook today. Join us next time. And until then, remember, it's not the money, it's the lifestyle. information and opinions you hear on the lifestyles unlimited real estate investor radio show are those of the host guests and callers and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of this station its affiliates its management or advertisers the lifestyles unlimited real estate investor radio show is for entertainment purposes only please consult a professional regarding your personal investment needs nothing presented on the lifestyles unlimited real estate investor radio show constitutes an endorsement recommendation offer or solicitation to buy or sell any product or security